This is Dabu7. We have a huge bust as these men and two other men have been caught in election fraud in Jersey. And this is large scale. They're saying that in the city council election, 16,700 vote by mail ballots were received, but only 13,500 of those have been counted. More than 3,190 or 19% of the total ballots casted were disqualified. And they're saying that this is all being done because of the pandemic, this mail-in stuff. And you have the NAACP chapter calling for the entire election to be invalidated because of all these issues. They're saying that mail-in ballots have long been acknowledged by voting experts to be more susceptible to fraud than anything. So they're saying over 800 ballots were invalidated for appearing in mailboxes and properly bundled together. They're only supposed to get one, so they're sending out, in some cases, hundreds in a single packet. They're saying that this was all done on purpose, it was all orchestrated, and these two men a part of this whole thing. They go on to state here that they were charging the four men in this with the crimes, and this is what they say. Patterson City Councilman Michael Jackson, 48. Councilman-elect Alex Mendez, 45. Shalim Kalik, 51. And Abu Raisin, 21, were charged with crimes including fraud and casting melon votes, unauthorized possession of ballots, and tampering with public records. And here's the big thing. We see the fraud that goes on all the time across this country, across both political parties. They say that neither one of these men are affiliated with a direct political party. So, with this whole election for the presidency coming up, this is something to pay attention to. They say Jackson faces up to 16 years in prison. Mendez faces up to 31 years in jail. And the other two men also face jail time if convicted. With this world stage the way that it is. I'm not saying it's going to go down this way, but if they really wanted to trigger a large group of people, let's say Trump supporters, what would you do? Put Biden in there and then show examples all over the place that it was all fraudulent because of this mail-in voting and that it wasn't righteous and you're going to have a big battle, if not the big civil war that they've been looking for. Stay sharp, y'all. It's been Dabu7. I'll leave links below. Make sure to follow me over here on DLive. Exclusive content here you're only going to find over here. Links below in the description.